Hello everyone, welcome to uh, episode 3 of what it's like being Thwip on Hardcore Server. Um, a few changes since last time, we've gotten some, a few more new moderators, and you, you now no longer spawn at spawn instead of wherever you were before, and we got Lockett back, and some other stuff like that, but basically, um, what I'm going to show you is a couple of clips from uh, what's been going on the last few days, because it's been really busy. <laughs> Here's one from what I thought was going to be a routine uh, griefing trip, but uh, ended up being a bit different. Hello everyone, uh, Thwip here again. Uh, I just came to come check on this guy's house, which apparently got griefed. Um, apparently, we know who did the griefing. And judging by the giant Nazi symbol, they don't have much taste. So let's just take care of this. And actually read what they seem to have left me. I bet you're hilarious, Resnick. Hmm. Well, that'll be rollback. Area, let's say 50 since two days. What have you got there, eh? What do you mean? I typed it in wrong? Fine. There, let's see what this does. And it's all gone. 724 blocks, that's easy. Pimp in. How long do we give them? 700 blocks. I say five days. Hilarious, buddy. Hilarious. Actually, you know what I feel like doing? I feel like trolling that guy back, actually. I really do. So, how do we go about doing that? Well, he had the most annoying name I've ever seen in a while. So let's just do ban. Thankfully, it's double letters. So anyway, it'll auto roll back everything he's done. There we go. And then we'll just um, unban. No, wait. Let's let's just actually do that. Actually, ban. Nazi symbols. And AVO, as it is. Wow. And that'll go through. Perfect. You know, I, I almost unbanned him until I realized, you know what? I, I don't want to see a whole bunch more Nazi symbols all over the f all over the world, which I'm sure is exactly what that guy did. Anyway, that's what happens when we catch one of you guys. Boink, and you're gone. I'm really tempted to remove all these diamond block houses myself again because they're ugly. But whatever. Anyway, just thought I'd keep that little clip for us. Uh, and by us, I mean me and you viewers, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's see what else I've got to do. I do 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 do. I'm cutting wood outside my house. Da -da 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 oh, wait a minute. Oh, hello everyone. What are you doing here? Oh, right. The the video. The video. Sorry, I was just cutting down some more wood for my new legit house. You probably haven't seen this yet because I've been a bit busy for playing legit these days. Very busy, actually. Um, basically, uh, yeah, a couple of real life stuff had me busy as well as you know having to work with everything on 1.2. So what I'm going to do right now is show you another clip of some mod recs from when a couple of people were on with proxy accounts trying to spam the server. And, you know, just like it was with Team Nexus, they couldn't stop us. So, uh, see you guys uh, after that. Well, a moment ago I thought it was fine because we had a couple people join with a bunch of proxy accounts, but uh, apparently that's what happened there. We might as well ban uh, these people. Thank you. 
thankfully, um, I've got CJB mod, which means I can just scroll all the way back up through the chat log and see exactly who all these people were. Okay, so, can I still type after that? We got Cats9. I'm really glad that um, they finally hooked us up with the um, with the different moderator mods. You see, wow. Thankfully, we have also got Moderator Big Boy on at the same time, and he's on the uh, console. How do I scroll up here? It's not the arrow keys. I'm not really sure how to do this. Uh, they're all in that one single place. Seems like, um, they did it once, and then, um, and that was it. So strange to have a bunch of proxies in one place. Now, how exactly do I use this enhanced chat log thing? Scroll up. Scro how do you scroll up? Do you drag and drop? No. Do you... Ah, uh, I didn't explain to me how to do this. Hmm. Well, they're banning the same people that I banned right now, so I'll just, um... I suppose I'll just stand here and watch the, uh, proxy accounts get claim jumped. It's hard to tell what their name is when, um... They're all in the same place. I know one of them was Mango something. Look at the effect. We got, like, Ash, Polka, Weirdo... Hmm... so strange. Oh, don't do that. I suppose the only thing to do right now is wait until they try to spam again and uh, ban, them, uh, ban them individually. Funny enough, I was about to give, um, Oh, wait a minute. What did I just see there? Yeah. There. One minute. This volume is way too freaking loud. Basically, um, I'm not very good at, um, installing mods, so what I do is I wait until one of my fellow staff members downloads basically the whole pack that I'll need, and I just borrow their, um, dot .minecraft file. I know, it's kind of cheating. By the way, I've got the Sharpcraft texture pack on, um, while I'm waiting to see these guys, if they spam again, I might as well show you. Um, everything is just slightly cleaner, from what I can tell, which I like quite a bit, except for one tiny detail that keeps freaking me the heck out. Here's my house. Everything looks nice and smooth, right? Except for this iron golem. He looks... Gah, freaking creepy as sin. Look, look at this. Where's your face? Why's your nose there? Where'd your arm go, buddy? Oh my god. Like, I thought he'd be a good housemate, but now... Ugh, it weird me the heck out. It's the creepiest thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. I wonder what this extra pack does to the other one. I can see inside his chest from the left side. Yee. Alright, well anyway, let's head back to spawn and see if those guys spam some more. Um, I might have to look for a new texture pack. So far, so good, but that is freaking creepy. Ugh. Alright, so are they still uh, spamming those weird people in the same... I can't tell their username right now, they're all in the same place. And really, I'd only ban them after they do something terrible, like... You know, right now they're just kind of sitting there, being weird. If I click chat log, it doesn't... 
Well, it keeps it all in one place, I guess. Is that the point? Maybe it is. Looks like Mr. Big Boy has this, uh, has this pretty under control himself. I can see a lot less people. Oh, at least one of them's gone to Minecon because he's got the cape. Man, they're weird. They're all kind of just rotating in place. How strange. Hmm. I'm not really sure what else to do here. But I suppose it's as simple as, um, since Big Boy has access to the console, he's just gonna ban them all one at a time. Be that as it may, I suppose, let's uh, see if we can't, um, check out some good mod requests. 1491 says. Someone protected our land. Well, I suppose I'll look into it, but honestly, uh, what makes your land more your land than his land? Oh, I suppose this would explain it. Watch. With a name like the Rickroll Kid, I can see why you'd want to ban him immediately. Okay, so it was built by Chuck Norris 111 and who put this protection stone down? Oops. It's hilarious. There. Okay. So who is it? Chuck Norris 11 protected it. Um, seems good. Seems fine. Um, how about over here? Is this still him? The cat says no, but I say it is. Okay, good. Whose house is this? Well, he's got some friends in there. You know what? Let me check um, that again. Who put in the mod request? Done 1491. It was report to me. This seems to be Chuck Norris 111's land. Because the more I look at this place, the more I think, you know what? I, I'm pretty sure it's his. Is that an apple? Huh. I haven't even played the game Earthbound, and it looks like it came out of that. I... Oh, there. Report to me. Yeah, okay. So, he built the Chuck Norris, and he just hasn't added him on the protection yet. That's all. So, hopefully they can deal with that now that i am told him that... Nope, someone didn't protect your land. The guy who owns the land protected it for you. <laughs> so, I hope you can talk to whoever, whoever did that. And it seems like they've taken that out. Let's see, check. Um, one, four, nine, five. What do we have there, one, four, nine, five? Because I worked really hard on my old house. Can you do me the favor of TP me to open space? I'll leave that one open. Maybe somebody else can do it. But honestly, for right now, whew, we are so busy. We can't do that for everybody. The white wool sign in shop is wrong. It says buy up top when it is supposed to say so. Well, as far as I'm concerned, does it have buy and sell? Buy, 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 buy. Oh, yeah, that's supposed to say sell one. Or that should say sell 64 for 472. Yeah, okay. So, sell. 64, 35 for 472. Done. Wait, that was 1500, right? Done 1500. Thanks for telling me. If you see any other sign issues like that, please tell us. I've already had to um, change a small sign in one of the earlier shops that was selling netherrack for three but you can sell them back for seven so that worked out very terribly i'm gonna go back to spawn um how are those alt accounts doing they all kind of just floating there oh looks like you got them all that's good <laughs> yeah that's true nobody can really uh we've got such a great process or earlier somebody tried to crash the server too what the heck is the uh, is up with people trying to crash servers anyway we're just here to play aren't we it's a game remember everyone it is a game
Oh, I guess Rick Roll Kid wasn't one of them. He's just a regular guy looking for planks. That's fine. I shouldn't judge a guy by his Rick Roll. Hello, I guess. everyone, again. I was just investigating um, EIEVU here. I was saying that the numbers are a bit wrong. Oh, okay. I see what you mean now. You can buy 32 for 3200. There's little glitches like that in the system. Please let us know if something like that happens. Okay, so I'll just fix that. Uh, it's supposed to be 64266 for 3200. Okay. So I'll just make another buy sign of 64266. And it's going to be for 3200. Not 30,000. And that's how you make a buy sign. There you go. If you seriously do find some more signs that have been a little bit edited, please leave them in the comments because I can't just get spammed by messages all the time. I have no idea what's going on. And no, I'm not going to see Jack Curran's house because I'm a busy guy. And how many mod requests do we have right now? Ah, now, oh, well, we got a few here and there. The sad thing is we shouldn't Logically, we shouldn't get a lot of grief requests. We have precious stones. You can protect your house. You shouldn't be getting griefed by people. So I'm going to say, done, 1744, remember to protect, and you can't get griefed. Uh, some of the keys on my keyboard are not wanting to work. Look, I've had this laptop for four freaking years, okay? And it's going to do me even more longer, even though it's had some hard times on it. For instance, I decided to try to clean under the keys, and I'm now currently missing the down arrow, the right arrow, the little pointy thing that goes left next to the question mark, the escape key, F4, the control key on the left hand side as well as whatever key is next to that one on the left hand side. I also am very slowly losing the right uh, mouse click button. I don't have a mouse, I use the little pad because I'm now very used to that. But basically that's the state of this laptop. It's lovely, isn't it? It's a widescreen version that was recalled for hard drive defects. I've had to send it back to the manufacturer twice to replace the hard drive because they replaced the hard drive with a defective one the first time, which died even faster than the first one. But so far, this sucker has lived through so many things. If you guys are actually interested in what kind of laptop I am, let's just say um, it, the screen is so big, it's amazing that I can just, like, it's, it's like watching movies if I, if I put something on there. Whatever 1772 is about, it, oh, what? What? 1772. Protect is the message. That was it. There's a couple of boats. Very nice. PS Info says it's home lepetter. Do you have... Who are you? Are you a guest? You are a guest. So, Pex, promote home lepetter. Done. 1772. Alright. Uh, boathouse works. You can now... Do TPA, TPA here, and ship back. I mean, we said, please build a citizen house to get citizen, but... Oh, oh, he's got kitties! Really? Where are you? Anyway, this is clearly his boat. He doesn't have that many items. That's good. That means he's been a good, trusty guest person. I really like that. You know, people who get diamond blocks when they're guests, you're cheating. Don't... Don't, don't even mince words. You're, you're cheating. Someone gave them to you. Whatever. You still shouldn't have them. Anyway, let's actually go investigate what the rest of this boathouse is like. Because obviously this is awesome. Ooh. Apparently this is a battle boathouse. Armed with, to the teeth with arrow dispensers. Where are all the cats? Eight diamonds is nothing to worry about. Yeah, this guy's a great person for building this epic boat. Oh, is that a ladder over there? No, maybe this is where you steer the boat from. So where are the cats? Man, I don't think I'm going to be able to find them. I mean, if I just go off of sound, 
I don't see them. Let's fly a bit. Did I mention that? Yeah, I've now got the CGB mod installed. I've got Sharp Design Texture Pack, which makes things look a little bit different. I'm still going to be looking around for one, though. For all I know, it's on this boat. Actually, that would make a lot of sense if it was over here. Kitties! No, I can't find you. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to check the chest and see if there's a, a ridiculous amount of items in them or not, because I like to think I'm in charge of making sure the economy doesn't get out of hand. Diamond blocks is mostly what I'm trying to get rid of. Well, that was a bunch of crazy requests, but the important thing to do, of course, is to treat everyone as equally as possible. I'm here at request 1791. Irish Bosch put this in. If I do PS Info, yes, he's protected it. So I can do PEX Promote Irish Boss. Now, done 1791. You can now do TPA, TPA here, and shift back. What else should I say here? Um. Enjoy the server, and play by the rules. You might think this is a bit routine, eh? I come to a small little... Well, it's it's enough to be a citizen house, really. It's sort of boxy and weird and in the middle of a mushroom biome. But if you've been watching my videos, the name Irish Boss... Well, you'll see. Just, um... There was an episode on the PvP server where I was doing PvP mod Rex and... This particular user is somebody who griefed and said that he was from, uh, yep, yeah, AVO again. Funny, isn't it? I'm sure he's not, or he wouldn't have built a house like that, so this is just kind of like my way of saying, you see, some people just want attention, you know? That's why they put things like that up. The only reason people grief and say that they're from that group is, yeah, because they want to get noticed, they want to be part of something big and infamous that they can't create themselves, I guess. I mean, honestly, I'm not too worried. If there's a bunch of people putting signs out there and griefing, I'll treat them like anybody else. But for the last little while, since they are infamous, I might as well mention that, uh... Oh boy, what the heck is that guy saying in the private messages? Please, dude, 100k. If you don't lend me, I'm getting banned. In Sea of Cac... Or really, how are you getting banned? Your inventory is nothing except... Um, hmm, weird. Oh, well. But anyway, I just thought I'd say that, you know what? I'm a nice guy who, uh, who will treat everyone equally no matter what. <laughs> Although, uh, I do have a spectacular memory, and I do tend to remember things that people have done on this server. I'd be surprised if you put in a mod application, but you know what? Everybody does. What can I say? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the server pretty well. I know that I do, and, uh, oh, I already did this, done, 1824, complete. Sometimes you forget to done them, and then you're like, oh my gosh, there's so many. And that's not a request. I'm going to leave this stuff in just so you guys see how crazy this is. 1828, this sounds promising. Nice house, lots of glowstone. Um, have you protected the inside, Mr. Green Sam? Yes, you have. Well, you know what? Let's look around. There really is a lot of glowstone. How much is a lot? I don't know. Let's go top and look around. Well, not that bad, really, but... Uh, Seems fine, seems fine, except for that griefed house right over here. That griefed house that was broken by Mr. Casper. It'll be roll back. Player Casper123. DJ area 20 since two days. What do we got there? 75 blocks found. And this used to look like this. Yep. Tempan. Oh gosh, I hate this guy's name. Whatever. <laughs> it takes a lot of patience when you be an admin or a moderator or whatever you want to be. Uh, Tempan. 
Casper123, DJ. Ah, yeah, let's do it one day. I don't know. It's a very small house. Almost inconsequential. But anyway, what I was really here for is has this guy protected his house well enough? Possibly. Is he even on the door? He of Green Sam. Yeah, so Pex promote Green Sam. There you go. Now, which page was that upon request on? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, done 1828. Promoted. Ah. I'm a bit uh, frustrated with my own lack of typing skills today, but you know what? It's fine, because if you check the mod requests, we were 55, now we're 27. Does it ever really, really go down? Sadly, no. Anyway, you do your the best you can, and it gets quite tedious some days, but it's the really interesting ones that I like to see, and I'll try to have uh, those up. But again, you never know what they are until you go to them. Congrats. Green Sam, your name is now Green. Well, good work on the house. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Nice and pointy triangular. Fencing, doors. Looks great. And if you're wondering about friend requests, what that other guy was talking about, um, I don't tend to do that because it's far too much like Facebook and... You can get trapped on stuff like that. They're they're only an illusion of a social aspect, to be honest. All right. So maybe one more. You know what? That's what I'm like. Maybe one more, and then I'll get a bit. Oh, and done. Eighteen, seventeen, solved before. Yeah. Um. What happened there was Nick Ross and Tree Hugger were trying to make a deal. Tree Hugger tells me that Nick Ross scammed him. He gave him the money, didn't give him the tree saplings he wanted. All I did was check their balance. Nick Ross, yes, has $2,000 more, and yet his balance was only 2500 so that's not that important. You know, it's it's not like crazy balance. Tree Hugger's balance was like $17 million. I was like, what? You really care about tree saplings that much? And he's like, it's the point that he stole from me. And sure, that's the point, but you know, at, at this point in time, I'm more thinking about trying to make the economy not go ridiculous. This is a nice little town here. So what I did was I gave Tree Hugger two jungle saplings and said, you know, good luck planting a farm. This might be an NPC village. Ooh. Ooh. Is it? Another NPC? Hello? Oh, that Casper guy stole the whole frickin' village, didn't he? Well... I like the illusion of uh, things in this game, so I say go villagers, populate and be proud. Oh my gosh, he destroyed the blacksmith. Well, I'm glad that they go into doors on their own. Have, let them in, let them in. Goodness me, you poor little villagers. You realize that people have claimed this house with Lockett? It, it, it might not as well be your village anymore. Just be glad that I'm giving you this. I try to make everyone happy, even poor villagers. <laughs> Alright, everybody. I'll uh, see you all next time for episode 4, whenever that goes up. And we'll see what other mod requests people will put in for me then. Because it never stops, and I definitely need to call a break sometime. <laughs> see you all next time.